Hey guys, it's Anthony. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to talk about the fastest way to become a consistently profitable trader. Now, no guarantees on timelines, but if you do follow the steps in this video, you will accelerate the learning curve to become a consistently profitable trader. We're going to dive into it, but real quick, hit that thumbs up button if you appreciate it. It lets me know you like these kind of videos, which is great because I can make more of them. Subscribe for more videos just like this one, and let's dive into the video. First tip is to journal your trades. So I personally use Evernote. You can use whatever you're going to use to journal. But in my journal here, uh, every single day, I keep track of every trading day. I have my trading plan in here that I read out loud every single day. Um, and then on the day, I'll write down the scenarios in pre-market. Before the market opens, I'll write down, hey, if this happens, then I'm going to be looking for this setup. If this happens, then I'm going to look for this setup. If this happens in this time, then I'm going to look for this setup. You know, if this happens in this time that I'm not going to trade, I write on all these things and I just reinforce certain things I want to be focusing on this week. Like I'll have a bunch of things of like what, you know, things I've learned recently that I want to reinforce. So that way I stick to, and this is all in the journal. So I personally use Evernote. You can use whatever you're going to use, but number one thing to accelerate your learning curve and be a consistently profitable trader even faster is to make sure you're journaling. Journal, just write down your thoughts, write down how you're feeling in a trade. While I'm in a trade, I'll write down, I'll keep track of the time, uh, you know, and I'll write down like, oh, I feel like closing it early here because of X, Y, Z. And I'm just making note of how I'm feeling, the emotions I'm having, like, you know, going through the play-by-play -play of me, let's say, not trusting the setup anymore or as much as I'm in it or trusting it more as I'm in it, writing down like, oh, you know, I saw this stock do this, so I'm more confident in my trade right now, hitting, hitting TP, little things like that. I'm just writing these down and keeping track of my emotions. And then I'm reinforcing things I want to learn, habits each day that I turn up to the market. And I'm also writing down all the possible scenarios that's likely to unfold pre-market before the market opens. That way I'm ready to attack and just ready to execute without hesitation because I've kind of already played the possible scenario in my brain. So that's the first thing. And then second with that hand in hand, it's to use Tradezilla. I use Tradezilla to track all my trades. Um, it's really, really good to just check out your risk reward ratio and all these things. You can also journal in there as well, but um, I like to write down the stuff in Evernote and then keep track of my trades on Tradezilla. This can keep you accountable to, you know, sticking to a risk reward ratio or having a certain win rate. Um, highly, highly suggest you use Tradezilla and use um, some sort of journaling software like Evernote or whatever you'd like to use. Tip number two is to back test often and back test correctly. Use software. I use FX Replay. If you want a discount code, you can head over to my buddy Mac Gray, his YouTube channel. He is affiliated. I'm not affiliated. I'm not affiliated with anyone in this video, but I'm just mentioning them because this is all the stuff I use. This is the stuff that a lot of other profitable traders use. And if you want to accelerate your learning curve, then these are the tools you want to use. So FX Replay, um, it doesn't cost much. And I use it because you can go to any date, right? Like I can do create session, start with 100,000, uh, choose whatever pair you'd like to use. So I like to trade ES and I like to trade NASDAQ. So I can just click on these and then I can have the start date. It's pretty cool. You can go back, see the months I'm going back. I'm spamming all the way back. You can go all the way back to April 2021 on a Tuesday and you know have it, you can just trade from then. You know, If I wanted to choose a certain strategy, I could do that and select it there, but you don't have to. And then it's right here, you press play now. And then you can trade this, it's like in real time. And it's absolutely phenomenal because you can't go back to um, you know, April 2021 on the five minute chart. But here you can do that and it's like you're using TradingView. And then you can do the play by play one minute at a time. See, like I can press one minute or I can just let it play and I can go, go fast. And these are five minute candles, but it's gonna play at one minute at a time. So if you see a setup, boom, you get in, you practice trade in real time, and then you actually see how your strategy performs by trading it live. It's like you're trading it live because again, you can have it go um, like every one second, it's gonna go one minute. So you can see how slow it is moving here. But trust me when I say this, this is the best software you could use when you're back testing. And um, this can help you back test correctly. So what does it look like when you don't back test correctly? What it looks like when you don't back test correctly is um, you go, let's say, and you, you look back right now. So you say, okay, um, the market opens here at 9.30, 9.30 Eastern, where my mouse is. Uh, the trading has already unfolded, but I'm looking back and then I'm saying, oh yeah, I would have taken an entry um, right here. 
uh, on this breakout, this close above, I would have taken this long, and then I would have had a, uh, you know, like a, I would have put the stop below this wick, and I would have had a, a one to one risk reward ratio as my target, and boom, well it looks like that worked. Oh, let me mark it down as a win. No, the reason why this is bad is because you already see what's going to happen after. If you really want to back test correctly, you just you go back and you you replay it. You start earlier and you let it play out live and you trade it live then you you mark down how you would have actually traded if you saw it live because then when you do see the setup without seeing the rest you'll have the confidence to take it after doing 10,000 hours of the process i just showed you here mark down your win rate figure out your win rate with your strategy figure out your risk reward ratio you're going to stick to with your strategy and the tr the times of day you're going to trade or the times of day you're not going to trade or you know, if there's red news coming up, are you able to are you allowed to take the entry if it comes up, or do you have to wait till after? These are all nuances and rules that every profitable trader knows what they need to follow. So back test, back test, back test, and back test correctly. That's what this tip's all about. And um, again, you can you you can back test on TradingView. I back test on TradingView, but then when I want to go further than like three months back on the five minute chart. Then I come over to FX Replay and I, I gather like a year worth of, of trading data because I'm able to go back farther. So that is the super important tip number two. Tip number three is to try to focus on building a strategy around price action and not indicators. Like don't try to slap on the RSI or the MACD. Try to figure out strategies without it. Um, things I would say you can go as far as using them in, in terms of indicators are some moving averages. And I, a lot of people also, you know, they can, they can give guides on direction, um, combined with market structure, but, um, try to build strategies just on price action and price action. I mean, you know, you know, you can see this is a high, right? We sold off, we broke market structure to the downside, and then this swing high held. So this became a lower swing high. So then you ask yourself, okay. If we broke market structure, right, we're making lower highs and lower lows. So if this is a rejection back down, you would say we're likely to go back down to this low. And we tested this low and I want to see if we take out the low, right? We, we take out the low. We did take out the low. So if you follow market structure on the five minute, the one hour, the four hour, whatever it is, try to build strategies based on market structure and not indicators. That's one huge tip I could give because I spent a lot of time using indicators and it doesn't get you very far. Um, some people, indicators work and help, but if you wanna build a strong, consistent foundation as a trader, you're gonna to wanna to find and build profitable strategies without indicators. But like I said, um, you could go as far as using some MAs, um, but, but focus on candles, right? Learn candlestick patterns, learn um, what happens when you see, let's say, a, a bearish engulfing and then a bullish engulfing back to close over. Like that's a very powerful reversal pattern. Right. And then as you can see here too, like you see a, an aggressive sell off, right? But then you see the rebound and then you see that we're unable to get above this swing high. And once we get this rejection and have the weakness again, if you're trading price action, well, you would say, okay, well, we rejected off of this. We're actually likely to go take out this low, which we did. But then when we had this massive strong reversal pattern. Then you could see what happened. You know, we came up and then had a retest of the order block and then continued higher. And these are all, you know, they could sound fancy, but again, these are all just price action and strategies using candlestick patterns. So focus on that and build a foundation based on that. And then sure, if you want to use some indicators, use some indicators, but don't waste your time. Just focus on indicators. Try to build strategies based on price action. Fourth and final tip to accelerate the learning curve to become a consistently profitable share faster is to learn to manage your emotions, right? So if you're better at being disciplined as a person, if you're better at following, doing things you said you were going to do, then when you do build a trading plan, when you do find the consistently profitable uh, strategy, you will have less problems. You always have problems, but you'll have less of an issue with following your trading plan. You'll have less of an issue of, you know, you won't close those trades early when you're not supposed to. You won't let the trade ride because you're greedy and you want more profit. You'll stick to your trading plan. You will enter the trade and then you will stay in the trade until it either hits the take profit or hits the stop loss. You won't adjust the stop loss early. You won't adjust the take profit early. 
you'll let it play out. And this will come over time, this may take a year, but if you are a disciplined person, if you're good at managing your own emotions and if you're self-aware, then this will take a lot less than most people. And this is very important after you've built the profitable trading plan and the, the strategy and after you've done all the all the 10,000 hours of backtesting and all that work, the next step is to make sure you're working on yourself and that's an ever long journey but if you already have a backbone of being very disciplined in your personal life then it'll help you stick to your trading plan and become profitable much sooner real quick to summarize of the four tips first one is the journal use evernote use trade zello whatever you're going to use number two is the back test back test back test back test on trading view back test on F fx replay fx replay is really good if you want to get more data if you want to get two years, three years of data, and you want to go back farther, FX Replay is your go-to, and get a lot of practice in trading live markets on FX Replay. Tip number three is to build a strategy based on price action and not to spend too much time building strategies around indicators because it's not going to work as well long-term, and you want to have that backbone of understanding how the market works in terms of candlestick patterns and market structure, and then you can throw in other indicators on top later if you want to, whatever, but build a base of being kind of a profitable trader with just market structure and price action. And tip number four is to learn to manage your own emotions. If you are a disciplined person, you are gonna be a consistently profitable trader faster. So you can be more, you can work on being more disciplined in your personal life and that, that'll transfer over to trading because you'll stick to your trading plan and you won't close trades early based on emotions. That's gonna conclude this video. Hit that thumbs up button if you appreciated it. Let me know in the comments down below what you wanna see more of. Subscribe for more videos just like this. I just wanna help you become a consistently profitable trader because that's what I always wanted when I was starting out. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.